Alright, this is what I got here, YouTube peoples. Whoever's looking at this video, I don't know. I just thought I'd put it up because I think this thing's kind of neat. My wife wanted uh, to be able to do movie night under the stars with the kids and stuff, you know, and I, I started looking into it and people were using this and that to do it and their smartphones and a shoebox and whatever with a magnifying glass. So this is what I came up with because, you know, I like to go all over the top and stuff and not much into cardboard boxes and magnifying glasses with my smartphone, you know, in the box. So, this is what I came up with. Right here, you got a 12,000 milliamp solar powered backup battery that will operate at 19 volts all the way down to 4.2 volts. The sun hits that panel, you could charge that bad boy up. Over here, you got a JBL Bluetooth speaker. Um, it's the JBL charge. I, you know, I just took some Velcro straps and strapped it to the tripod, which brings us to the tripod. Just an inexpensive tripod, like twenty dollar tripod or whatever. Sorry about the the, zo the extreme zooming. Anyway, I'll bring you around to the back here and I'll show you what's up with this. This is uh, the Optima, the Optimo, the Optima. PK320, they're about 350 bucks or whatever, and you could probably find a better deal, I don't know, that's about what I paid, 350 uh, It's got a, a micro SD slot here on the side, you probably can't see it because it's all black, and I have the, uh, the curtains drawn already for, you know, the sake of editing and whatnot to show you that this works, that this rig works. So the Pico pocket projector here is hooked up to this to this backup battery and the Pico has a 1400 milliamp battery inside of it I believe which isn't much it's like 45 minutes I think at, at medium brightness and it's not very bright this will allow you to pump 12 volts to it and it will think it's plugged in and run at full brightness and you should be able to get a movie or two out of it anyway and, and you don't even have to plug it in to charge it, you can just set it in the sun. So, that's kind of neat for all you greenies out there, I suppose. A little cheap mount uh, that you would mount a notebook to a music stand or whatever. And I just mounted it right on the end there on the foam. And this thing was a little bit big for this solar charger, so I had to improvise and I used some of my daughter's hair things <laughs> to hold it on there. But it, it looks pretty pimp. It works. It works. It's secured. Alright, so it ain't going nowhere. It sits in the bottom thing pretty nice, and I put two, two straps on it. So it's not going anywhere. And currently, I have it plugged in to where it's doing... I don't know if this will focus on it, but that jack that it's plugged into will do between 4.2 volts and 19 point something volts. And then if you go into the other jack, it's just 19 volts. We don't want that one. Anyway, this, this backup battery is nice. You can charge cell phones with it, you know. So everything on this rig could be used for something else. Like, you know, my wife uses this to play her music by the pool or whatever. We're laying out in the sun, attached to her phone. But now it's incorporated into this. Anyway, so if this is standalone. No plugs. No plugs. It's at full brightness. It's, I'm going to get some wash out because it is daytime and I... You know, but at least you'll get to see, you know, how bright this thing is, even even in the light. So, uh, the most recent episode of Game of Thrones, episode 10, I don't want to play too much, or they'll probably get me for copyright infringement or whatever and make me shut it down. So anyway, uh, I've loaded the episode of Game of Thrones onto the internal memory card, which is 2 gigs. It's not a lot, but then you could put in 32 gigs. In the, in the memory slot. Anyway, this is in uh, MP3 format. Uh, it seems to like MP3 format pretty good, uh, I noticed. So, uh, I uh, downloaded this, put this onto my Pico, and we're going to give it a try here. And you can see how it works. And, you know, if it's darker, you can get a better idea. It's, it'd be real nice. You could play a whole movie out on a sheet outside at night, or if you have a nice little screen, a pull-up screen or whatever, you could 
put it, project it up on that, and, and it would work. And you wouldn't need to plug a bunch of crap in. Let him make his threats. Hmm? He's a bitter little man. No Terry wishes to apologize immediately. So you get pretty good sound out of this JBL speaker. Well, you don't have to use this. You can, you can use something else that's less expensive. I am or the king. Whatever, but uh, the JBL charge has its own battery. It has its own battery at uh, six thousand milliamp battery in the JBL charge, so that makes it good to go with this whole this mobile entertainment center because you know it's not sucking juice off the solar battery or anything. Uh, so it, you know you could get lots of playtime out of that thing, plugged into your uh, into your entertainment center. So anyway, you can see it works. I just turned it down so you can hear me again, uh, but it works pretty good. Works pretty good. I, I got the charge. It's uh, jacked right into the. Uh, you know I got a I got a, a cord that's jacked right into a three millimeter cord that's jacked right into the charge. Of course, uh, you know, a shorter one would probably look, you know, nicer and whatever. Uh, if I had an, uh, a shorter one, maybe I could dig one out. I probably have one. And in this, this is just rigged up with the, uh, the wires that come with the solar battery and attached to the Pico. And like I said, you got to run it at 12 volts to get full, full brightness on the Pico. So you can see the Pico's running and you can kind of see in there there's an indicator for what voltage it's set on and Thank you. it'll focus and you can see it uh, you see it's on 12 volts 12 volts so I'm, I'm pumping 12 volts to the Pico you just sent the and the speaker stand alone has its own large battery in it and uh, it seems to work pretty good uh, I think my wife will like this she can take a can she likes to go camping and stuff, and so she could just pop this bad boy out and put a movie on for the kids when it gets dark. And during the day while they're chart while they're you know, they're hiking and, and swimming and riding bikes and stuff, uh, this thing could be sitting there, uh, you know, just in a in a room that's got good ambient light and it'll charge. It's charging right now. You can see the light the green light on it means that the battery is actually charging, so it's it's discharging and charging at the same time. Actually, anyway, there it is. Uh, I can't put up longer than ten minutes, so I don't know. Uh, leave your thoughts. Uh, feel free to copy this. You know, it's it's kind of cool. It's rather expensive kind of little getup I put together here, but like I said, you could do it for cheaper, just use different components. I'm out.